All right, well, Brian Sabota Blue Cap Productions, we are walking through the bowels of the research area here at the Yale Peabody Museum. We're with uh, Stefan Nicolescu, and we're going to go see the back hidden basement scientific research area of Yale University's Peabody. Stefan, are we ready to go see the magic? Yes, yes we can, but this is an awful place. Five it's, twisters have gone through here in the last three months. It's a mess, people. It's a mess. It's normal. But that is a sign of pure genius. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're going to flip the camera around and Stefan, show us, give us a tour. Well, I'll give you a tour. I first want to tell you that this has many empty spaces. This is my show and tell case, but not much to show anymore. Or, and I can only tell that the specimens that are missing are on display. Okay. So, and I didn't have time to, to put anything. You back there. Oh, you, you, you see your, your uh, uh, countryman, right? Yeah. <laughs> Al is they're pleased. Not, they're not, they're classic, not... classic North of England cow site there. Yeah. Super. Nothing, nothing spectacular. What's interesting is this yeah, one this here. this is really cool with a steel bike. Well, it's lovely. But look, it says, it says bullshit on it. You see the BS there on the, on the nice? <laughs> and that's Benjamin Silliman. So that has Benjamin Silliman's... <laughs> Uh, b DNA. So, um, hey, and I'm not bullshitting don't, you. Don't knock BS. Those are my initials too. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, let's go and see something else. All right, let's go see. Wait, let's see who's calling. I don't know who this is. Joe Friday, private eye. Move out of the way. We are okay. stopping here at this case. Okay, we are at case. Ooh, it's a unlabeled case, but it's got the very fancy high tech <laughs> post it note scotch tape to the outside. Okay. You know that's uh, high quality. This is how it should be. Yeah, exactly. But right. Whoever did that, being me, <laughs> got that distracted by something more creative, more interesting than labeling case. So now we're looking at 106, 108. No, it's 106. 106. Oh, we don't disclose the location. Cut. Cut. We can't, we can't show that part. We got to edit that out. Um, no, I didn't. Uh, I don't know if any of you is familiar with the name James Douglas. So James Douglas was the first director of Phelps Dodge. Oh, okay. And he opened the Copper Queen mine in Bisbee, in Bisbee. Arizona. Yeah, yeah. And... I don't know exactly through which way Douglas became engaged with, with Yale College because there wasn't a Peabody Museum way back then. And he donated lots of specimens to Yale. And here is one. Oh. Dun, dun, dun. Oh. Oh. A thumbnail. Jesus. Donated Bisbee. by James Douglas Bisbee. Azurite and the malachite uh, mammala, how do you say it? Mammillary? No. Mammillary? That's for, yeah, that's usually preserved for. for well, this is mammillary. Mammillary. Yeah? mammillary. These, these are so like, these, these are. These are pseudomorphs after cuprite. So the malachite is pseudomorph after cuprite on this specimen. Oh, right. Okay. I see what you're saying. Sorry. Yeah. 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 Okay. You know what? At the BM, we've got one really similar to this, about about 1890. And it's bigger, but it hasn't got the luster. Okay, and this is older. That's really, it's, it's older, is it? Yes, yes. Wow, that's a really cool thing. So here is one evidence for that. Oh, you get the you original see, label. No, it's not the original. Oh, it's okay. 20th century, early 20th century. But James Douglas. Super. Okay. Spherulitic azurite, yeah. Yep. What well, spherulitic malachite? M malachite, yeah, but it's got yeah the uh, the the azurite. The azurite. Forming. On top of it. On top of it, sort of sphero So this masses. is slated for display as well. That's really that's a really that's a really bright piece. It is. That's brilliant. And we have other. We've got the oxides on here as well. Yes. 
That's cool. Sorry. Finger for size. <laughs> you always put your wrong finger there. <laughs> yeah, I know what finger you want to put there. <laughs> okay, and now from the southwest of the U.S., we are moving to the southeast. Oh, yeah. Dun, dun. Oh, yeah. Oh. That's nice. That's cool. The so-called agatized corals of Florida. This was on display. It's not going back on display for the time being. That's a biggie. It's not the only one. There's a coral structure in there. Yes. Yep. And then. And he, I mean, this is probably the most yeah. uh, visually evident. Uh, of it being coral, but I love these. These are so cool. I didn't know they made them this big <laughs> until Cat Beasley gifted us right. with this. Well, it says right there, made in China. Uh, no, <laughs> made in, in, made in Florida. Florida. And as you see, it has been cut, polished, and we have the lid as well. So this is the other part of that uh, specimen. Well, there are two specimens now. That is so cool. And it's obviously inverted. This is the bottom yes. there. Well, that's how the individual that put them in, uh, guilty as charged, <laughs> placed them in the, in the storage. For storage, it doesn't really matter, the orientation, right. as right. long as you're not damaging the specimen. Yeah, as long as nothing's coming yeah. in contact with it. And then, wait, there is more. So this is the quartz, oversized quartz section. So that's why you see uh, chalcedony and uh, smoky quartz together here. And wait, there is more. But wait, there's more. You get a so free are, set of steak knives. These are, these are small, but nice, nevertheless. These are nice. I like this. Look at that. Yep. That's really sweet. Yep. Okay, Brian, time's up. Time is not up. Time's up. Time is not up. Cut. I like that. Cut. That's sweet. Yep, these are nice. Okay. This is it. That was an inside view here at the bowels of the Peabody Museum at Yale University. Stefan, thank you, my friend. Thank you. All right. Left hand shake. Cool. Yeah. Doesn't matter. That's right. As long as as long as you're shaking. Okay. That's all for now. <laughs>